Hello, we're going to go ahead and walk through the financial reporting with BI Publisher Enterprise. I'm going to log in here to the BI Publisher Enterprise interface. And this could either be a, a separate uh, installation of BI Publisher Enterprise or even share the same platform as OneView Reporting. I'm going to click up here on Catalog and navigate down through a list of folders to a general ledger folder that we've set up. In this case, we've got a couple of report samples that are included in our BI Quick Launch for JD Edwards. We'll start with the income statement. So if I go ahead and click on the open below the income statement, this will go ahead and open up the uh, income statement sample. And this is again one of our reports that, uh, that we deliver. Um, you'll notice a few different flavors. So we've got these three different tabs. I'm gonna start by just selecting a different company so if we want to pull maybe just company 20 for June, I'll select that and hit apply and it'll go out there. Right now it would be querying the JD Edwards data set and bringing back the results. So now we can see on this first tab, uh, income statement by company, and the object is the detail of our rows. So we've got revenue, cost of goods, gross profit, GNA, other income, net income. So traditional P&L. Um, and again, this is kind of everything rolled up. So there could be multiple business units rolling in to this company. But what if we wanted to see a different row? Instead of seeing our object accounts as our rows, we could actually see, if I click on the next tab, the business unit detail. So in this case, we get the same total dollars, but now we're seeing instead of each object account rolling up, we can now see for the company consolidated uh, one row for each business unit. And then lastly, if we want to get a different flavor, if I go down to the last one, income statement by business unit, now instead of grouping at the company level, we're actually grouping at the business unit level. And each business unit, we can then drill in to the, uh, the underlying details. So it's now a drill down P&L. So if I want to see as a user, um, what's going on with these $14,000 of spend and brochures and corporate documentation, I can click on that and it'll drill down from the summary financial balances down to the journal entry transaction. So this is the uh, kind of a GL drill path. So now we can see all the transaction details and anything on the general ledger can be exposed at this drill as well. So we can see things like the document number, document type, amount units, the explanation, the AP invoice. If I wanted to see has the check been cut yet on this invoice, all right, if there's a PO, we could drill down to the purchase order as well. I'm going to go ahead and just click on the invoice. And this will now do another drill path from the general ledger transaction to the, the AP uh, detail as well. Okay, so we can now see the transaction information on the accounts payable side of JD Edwards. So that was an example of a, a user manager opening up um, and running a, a P&L out of JD Edwards and drilling down to the details. If we go ahead and go back and let's take a one quick uh, peek at the balance sheet. So we go back to our catalog. Now we could just open the balance sheet and view that as well. But we also want to show you one of the uniquenesses about the, the BI Publisher Enterprise interface outside of OneView Reporting is that you have the ability to schedule. So let's go ahead and schedule the balance sheet. I'm going to click on the schedule button here. I can go ahead and select my parameters. If I go to output, You'll see I can go ahead and create a couple different tabs. So if I want to say I want this first tab of the report to be displayed, you can also choose your format. We'll go ahead and make that PDF. Let's add a separate tab or a separate uh, document to view. Okay. And if you want to email this, you could actually have this report generate with data and automatically email. So if I added email distribution, I could specify who I want this to be emailed to. In this case, we're not going to go ahead and email this out right now. And um, the next option is the schedule tab. So if I click on schedule by default once, and if I run it now, when we hit the, the submit, it's going to go ahead and generate this report on the fly. But you could also have a report run on a daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis and specify which days, which time of the day you want something to run. Okay, so right now we're just going to run this once. And the notification, we can also go ahead and set up notifications by email if the re report completes or fails um, or, or something else. So that's kind of the, uh, the, uh, the scheduling features. Let's go ahead and hit the submit button. And then we can give this job a name. So I'm just going to call this balance sheet. 
It says the job balance sheet successfully submitted, choose OK. Now if we go ahead and hit return, it'll take us back to our catalog within the BI Publisher Enterprise and now we can click on job history and this will take us to that queue. So here we've got that report that we kicked off called it says running as the status. If I go ahead and refresh the page, once it's completed, it'll go from running to success. So now we can click on that balance sheet and see the two different tab uh, uh, tabs or, or report examples that we, we want to view. So if I choose the balance sheet summary, it'll open that up. You can notice here we've got more of a balance sheet uh, this is again one of our samples for our, our uh, BI Quick Launch for Oracle BI Publisher. Where we've got you know assets, current assets, and we've got one line for each of these rows, like cash, accounts receivable. But there'll be multiple accounts that roll into that. So this is more of the summary tab. So it kind of gives you that more of a summarized view of the balance sheet. And if we go back and look at the balance sheet detail, now we can actually get the detailed flavor. So within cash, we can see all of those accounts. So if we wanted to go and look at the general ledger transactions for one of those line items, we can go ahead and click on that here. And again, it takes us down to those, uh, those GL transactions. Okay. And if we go back to uh, our, our submission here, you could also go ahead and send this. So if you wanted to, to now I've, I've viewed the report and I want to send this to a manager, you can go ahead and specify the email that you want to send it to. So that, in a nutshell, was the BI Publisher for Financial Reporting with Preferred Strategies BI Quick Launch. Thank you.